Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a dictionary in Python. Now, whenever you have a dictionary in real life, you have a bunch of words, and they're associated with a bunch of definitions. Now, in Python, we have names for these. Instead of words and definitions, we call them keys and values. And the cool thing about Python is you're not only limited to, you know, like a definition like you would think in a dictionary, you can also use numbers and stuff like that. So let me show you an example right now. So the first thing you have to do is, of course, just name it whatever you want and then set it equal to and then use those curly braces. Now inside your curly braces, you're going to have sets of a key and a value. And you can have as many as you want. You can have one, you can have a hundred, it doesn't matter. So for the key, I'll just write Tony. And for the value, actually let me use single quotes. So write the key and think of this like the word in the dictionary and then add a colon and then after that colon is the value and I'll write cool but smells. So say that this dictionary is um, storing like everyone in my class. So again, the key which is Tony and the value of this is cool but smells. So whenever you want to add a new item what you have to do is just separate them with commas and then I'm too lazy to do the format again so I'm just gonna do that alright so this key can be for Emma and her value can be um, I don't know I'll say she sits behind me and let's add one more so comma um, one more person could be like Lucy and her value will be, I don't like Lizzie, because she asks too many questions. All right, so now we have a dictionary called Classmates, and it's made up of three key value pairs, Tony, Emma, and Lucy. So I guess I can go ahead and just print this out real quick. So if you just print the name of your dictionary without specifying any one of these individually, then it's just going to go ahead and print the whole thing as expected. Now, obviously, you can do cooler things than this. You can print something like um, classmates, and then in square brackets, put the key, Emma. So this is pretty much saying print the value of Emma. And of course, Emma's value is sits behind me. So again, you can do this with each um, individual item in your dictionary, or I'll show you guys something really cool. This is probably the coolest thing that you can do with it. What you can do is instead of having to go through your dictionary one at a time, like Emma, Tony, okay, who's next? Lucy, oh, MG, that's taking forever. There's a real quick way that you can loop through it. So what you do is you use a for loop, and then you know how we just gave um, our for loop a variable name, and that was the name of whatever item it was looping through at the time? Well, since a dictionary is composed of keys and values we actually need to give it two variables so we'll say k and v and this is what people typically use and this is pretty much saying whenever we loop through it treat k is the key so the first time it's going to be Tony then Emma then Lucy and v is going to be the value so this is going to be cool but smells sits behind me and asks too many questions and then after this we just need to say in classmates items simple enough so again this is the dictionary that's looping through and it's gonna loop through all of the items so now I can just put something like print um, K I don't know let me think of something stupid K I don't even know how I can have this make sense okay I'll just do something really easy K plus V which is pretty much going to print out this and this. Simple enough. So actually, let me get rid of these so it doesn't confuse you. So as you can see, since we didn't have spaces, let me add spaces real quick. So they're a bunch together. What it does is you built a dictionary right here. Your dictionary was composed of keys and values. We had three of them in this case. And what this loop did is it looped through this dictionary and for each item in your dictionary it printed the key and the value. 
So of course, the key is just the name and the value is a little note we wrote about them. So that is what this little program does and that is how you can build a dictionary in Python. And in the next couple tutorials, they're actually gonna be a lot more interesting than this because I'm gonna start showing you guys how to work with modules and also how to build um, a very simple web crawler. It's probably gonna be the coolest program we made up to date. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.